Windows Easy Transfer allows you to transfer data and settings from an old computer to a new one. To transfer your data, you will need either an external storage device or the Windows Easy Transfer cable. I recommend using an external hard drive so that when you're done transferring your data, it can be used for backing up your new computer. First, plug in the external hard drive to the new computer. Then go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and then Windows Easy Transfer. Click Next to begin. Then click the bottom option to use an external hard drive. Next, choose This is my new computer. We are now being asked if we have already saved the files from the old computer. Click No. Since we need to install the Easy Transfer software on the old computer, click I need to install it now. Choose the option for the external hard drive, then locate the drive in the window that opens, and then click OK. Now we are going to go over to the old computer to transfer the data with the software. On the old computer, I'm going to navigate to the external hard drive. Double click on the Windows Easy Transfer shortcut. When the program opens, click Next. Then choose the option for the external hard disk. Click This is my old computer. Now the Easy Transfer software will search the computer for your files. When it's done, click Next. Now if you want, you can add a password to protect your data that you're transferring. If you don't want to use a password, leave it blank and click Save. Now you will need to locate the external hard drive. Then click Save. After the files are saved onto the hard drive, you can close the Easy Transfer software and go back to the new computer. When you go back to the new computer, plug in the external hard drive, and then click Next. Click Yes. Open up the external hard drive, and then select the Easy Transfer file that you saved. Now click the Transfer button. Now you have transferred all of your files from your old computer to your new computer. Remember to make sure that you have an active antivirus on your computer before doing a data transfer. In the next chapter, we will learn how to change Windows settings to customize our Windows 7 operating system.